So what's up guys, Mingi here. So welcome back. Uh, today I am printing with the Anet A8 3D printer kit. And in this video I'll be showing you the things I noticed in building the 3D printer, setting it up, and probably the quality and printing phases as well. So let's get to it. So as you can see, I am printing my first print. Uh, yes, uh, I did a 3D scan of myself, my upper body and my face using the Xbox 360 Kinect and I'm using Scanect scan for the slicing and Cura for the, I mean I'm using Scanect for the 3D scanner and I'm using Cura for slicing the object and, but anyways the first thing I noticed in building and setting up the Anet A8 is that the Z axis weren't parallel to each other so I had some occurrences where one side was going up while the other one was trying to get up but it was stuck so what I had to do is was loosen up the screws for the plastic support for the z-axis so you can see here I eliminated two screws here and then loosen up the screws in the stepper motor where the main board is and it worked out fine and no, no problems to whatsoever the second thing, and the second thing I noticed was this wasn't quite effective because I tried adding it to the, the nozzle itself and it doesn't work. It, it just bumps up to the hot bed where, and then eliminates the cooling fan and maybe I will just download some cooling fans in Thingiverse. They said that there are some cooling fans, a uh, cooling whatever, whatever there so I can be able to get a better print out of this ANET A8 3D printer kit. Another thing I noticed was the sound. You can listen to it, I think. Can you hear it? Yeah, that sound. Uh, I think it's from the X axis or the Y. I'm not quite sure. But I'm, not, I'm sure that it's not from the Z axis because I already fixed that a while ago. And I'm currently at 56% and Printing out a 3D print of myself. Uh, let's check it out. Maybe I'll talk about the quality later, or maybe in the next video. But so hope you enjoyed the video. Check it out. So this is the 3D printed 3D model of me and I think the quality is quite fascinating although it has this kind of bump here it must be in the slicing of Cura and I noticed there was some sharp, sharp object sharp mustache right there but it's fine uh, it's fairly smooth and the quality looks amazing especially for a free version like free version of Scanect. So that's it guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and to all the beginners 3D beginner 3D printer beginners out there like me, uh, I would suggest buying the Anet A8 3D printer kit because it's good for beginners. The quality is just fascinating. Yes. I, I, the quality is fascinating. If you have if you have good calibration, you can get a good quality. It's very nice, and there it's open to upgrades. The Inet A8, as I as I I've heard, it's open to upgrades. You can upgrade it by 3D printing some 
objects there and adding it to the Anet A8. So it's a very good printer and the community is very large which will help you in, for example and let's say you have a problem the community is there open is open to help you out. That's it guys. See you next time. Give a like if you like the video. Comment if you have suggestions or questions. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and I hope to see you soon in my other DIY projects and prop to you then.